Hello everyone, this is Anna from Lex and Beauty Journals. Hope everybody's well today. Um, I've um, I'm just I've just come back from a short visit to Athens where I uh, I actually managed to get some time and visit um, the my favorite material, my my favorite uh, fabric stores. And uh, well, um, got a bit of inspiration there, <laughs> and I was working on this um, this story in my mind, well, this journal in my mind um, while I was there. Um, but when it comes to the cover, it just naturally, just um, naturally, um, happens when when I'm working on it because usually, I think I've told you that before, um, in a previous um, video that that when I'm working on the story and doing the research on the images and everything, um, I, I, I end up thinking about how I want to do the cover. And um, this one, this one, this is, I just fell in love with this image while I was in the process of, of, of you know, printing out all the, all the materials. And um, well, I just, I just saw her and that was it, you know, that was it. <laughs> Um, and this is this is this is a painting called Elaine, um, and the Lady of Shalott. It was it was it was painted in in 1920 by Edward Reginald Frampton. So if you want to find find her, you can I'm sure you'll be able to find her very easily um, with this information if you'd like to find this painting. Um, this is the spine. And some some gold uh, gilding and also some gold leaf attached to it um, and um, ch cheese cloth <laughs> oh, God. and and I've, I've got here a gold I've, I've, I've had this a uh, few of these gold tassels so I'm using them on the journals and some seam binding, silk seam binding ribbon. I thought this could be a very feminine, delicate, sort of gentle, gentle journal, um, just like just like the 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 theme. So the Lady of Shalott was was a a lady that was imprisoned in her tower, which was near Camelot, according to this this poem by Tennyson. Alfred um, Tennyson and um, it's a very very Victorian in the way it's been sort of she's been uh, presented but then um, I I believe in the the legend of of the of the Arthurian legend in the dark ages where women were a lot more uh, in a way ca active and uh, there was there was a um, you know there were there there was the 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 lady of the lake who was a, a priestess a high priestess and um, you know, they were quite involved in the old religion of of the of Britain they were very involved in in that um, so it's all quite mixed and and you can pick and match and mix and and match with all sorts of different. Um, different um, times and uh, different versions of the story. The, I mean, the, the Lady of Shalott is um, um, uh, not a real character, um, but it's to somebody that um, it's a, a lady that um, anyway the, the poet Tennyson has created. But anyway, she's very much a romantic medieval style with a Victorian with a Victorian addition. Um, personality. <laughs> so let's have a look at the actual journal. Um, so, so as you can see, I've I've got this beautiful. I I'll take this out. I will attach it into the spine, so it will be you know it will be part of the book. But I, it was a last minute addition that I I kind of thought of. Um, so you can see this is so beautiful, beautiful gold, and this is all. This is the the Indian paper that I've got. Um, in different different colors, um, and this is I thought this goes so well with the cover, and uh, with the whole journal. So the end papers. So um, yeah, and uh, and uh, in the first part of the of the journal, the first signature is the poem, and uh, I kind of sewn it to give it a little bit of a. A rustic sort of old time feel. Also, is nice contrast. It's, it's a beautiful contrast with the, the page underneath, um, and it looks really old. So you you know this this 
poem is all here for um for one to read and uh and then i've also got some um prima prima marketing paper that i thought this one especially goes so well with with the colors and the theme um and i've got some pockets here and some um cards i've got quite a few cards which I will, I will, I will um, detail in the end of this um, of this video where these these came from, this lovely ladies Etsy shop. Um, so there's um, there's a bit more of that uh, from her store, and this is um, a, a water house, eighteen ninety three, um, painting. This is so beautiful, <laughs> and I've sort of created this opening, this this closure, so you know one can tuck in things, pin them in, um, and there's these are some of these cards, journaling cards, and there's uh, another side of the pocket. Um, this is a beautiful uh, painting. Um, by, by John William Waterhouse, uh, which was, it was painted 1888 and it was based on the poem, Tennyson poem. I think that's the title, The Lady of Shallot. Oh, this, this deserves to be. There we are. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. Ah, <laughs> um. uh, it's William Edward Frank. Britain, Adam Curden Restoration, Early Poems of Tennyson, 1901. Yeah, that was a restoration by Adam Curden. So that's another beautiful illustration. And I've added some sari silk with a similar color sort of variation. And here is a, one of my um, semblances. Well, it's got Pericles here, but that's, that's, a, that's a, um, a Shakespeare, a play from Shakespeare. Um, as you can see, this is it. Bit of music. And some more of the Prima paper, which I love it because you know, even though it's got it's quite floral, um, it has this rustic quality, and it, it goes well with the old journals. Look at the paper here, <laughs> amazing, isn't it? This is this is this comes this comes from a book, King Arthur, one of my books, and it's it's a page from the book, and it's got the beautiful, you know, the knights. Um, and jousting there. I guess not the evil ladies. But more like 14th century. Now this one is John Atkinson Grimshaw, 1875, The Lady of Charlotte. There's some more some more journaling cards. Okay. Paper. And there's a little tuck spot with some old French lace here. And there's a very old stamp, which I picked up from from London, I think in the market, uh, Common Garden, so like a couple of years ago. And I've been using it in my very, you know, my old journals, my my dark age journals. Um, this is a gorgeous, um, gorgeous uh, uh, by Florence Harrison. Tennyson's dream of fair women. Right. And uh, another symbolic, let's say, very symbolical um, uh, wheel, and very important in those times, the wheels. There's a two note cards and a stamp. 
some more of the sari silk and some paper here of the um, tax board. And then this one, this one is um, Rossetti's 1857 illustration of Tennyson, 1903, reissued, uh, reissued, um, and that was yeah, it was it was made in 1857 and it was reissued in 1903. And that's Lancelot looking at the lady, the child. There's uh, there is a relationship between the lady and Sir Lancelot in, in the poem, in the story. Um, so there's also that element. And there she is in all her greatness <laughs> um, by Henry Maynell Riem, the Lady of Shalott. Um, there's no specific date, but it was, but he, he, you know, he worked between 1859, 1920. more of this beautiful uh, pre mom paper um, this is the lady of Charlotte Ten Tennyson um, by Tennyson and the artist is Chesterton GK 1903 there's another pocket um, here we have the lady of Charlotte reaches um, Camelot uh, by an unknown painter and this is an interesting story here because uh, it says it was in a family since 1887. So here's some more of this gorgeous paper. Another painting here and a note card on a side pocket here. This one is Dante Gabriel Rossetti study for the wood block for the Maxon, Mac Moxon, Tennyson Lancelot and the Lady of the Lake. And that's the 1856-57. Times and, and Rossetti was particularly fond of Tennyson. So there we are. Now this one is The Lady of Charlotte by William Holman Hunt, 1905. So I've 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 put wherever whatever ladies of Charlotte I found, I've added them in this in this journal. Um this one I like very much. It's a water house. A painting, um, 1894. There she is. She's she's looking at Lancelot, staring at him from her um, tower window. She's looking very intensely. <laughs> there we have another pocket here, and some more of this beautiful paper. This is one of my favorite ones, um, always has been, um, since I was very young, I love this paint. By Hedmund Leighton, and it's called Godspeed, and she's saying farewell to the night. It was painted in 1900. There's a shell, like it's a very old shell here, and um, a book plate, which I've put on the side, just to leave this part free at the end and so this is the journal um, lots of light light blue colors and um, yellows and um, so there it is. well I will be uh, talking to you very soon with another journal um, and if anybody's uh, got any ideas they would like to see in journals just let me know um, just give me some you know some of your uh, you know, ideas and, and thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> I'm open, open to any kind of uh, suggestions. So have a lovely rest of the week if um, I don't speak to you sooner. And um, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.